Hi, it's Mr. Rowgan, and in this video I want to talk about the additive and multiplicative identities in math. They get their name from the Latin word edem, which means the same. So again, we can see that root there. Edem means the same. So these are the additive identity, is what can we do to numbers when we add them that makes those numbers stay the same? And the multiplicative identity is asking us what can we do to numbers when we multiply them to make those numbers stay the same? So let's just look at a couple problems. When we add the numbers, if I have three, and I wanted to add something to three, but I wanted to keep three the same, I didn't want to change that number, what would go in there? Well, the obvious answer is zero. I can't add anything to three if I want it to still equal three. And let's look at it with a variable instead of a number. So if I had x plus something, again, if I wanted this to equal just x, the only thing I could put, the only number I could put in this box would be zero. So the additive identity is zero. Now when we look at multiplication, it's different because if I multiply a number by zero, it's always zero. Anything times zero is zero. So the multiplicative identity can't be zero. So let's look at three times a number. And I want that to equal three. And again, let's look at x as well, x times a number. And I want that to equal x. So what can I put in these boxes when I'm multiplying? That'll make three times something equal to three. Well, this isn't zero, because again, that would make this equal to zero, not three. The only thing I can put in that box is one. Three times one is three. And again, x times one is x. So the multiplicative identity would be 1. So the additive identity is 0. The multiplicative identity is 1. In general, a number's identity just is whatever is happening to it has to make sure that that number stays the same, whether we're adding or multiplying. I hope this video was helpful, and thanks for watching.